हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मैं हूं आपका दोस्त एंड होस्ट दीपक केसरी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन प्रोटेक्ट आवर वेबसाइट बाय यूजिंग एचटीटीपीएस प्रोटोकॉल सो फॉर दिस वी विल क्रिएट एन एसएसएल सर्टिफिकेट बाय यूजिंग ओपन एसएसएल लाइब्रेरी फॉर दिस फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू डाउनलोड द ओपन एसएसएल लाइब्रेरी नेविगेट टू योर ब्राउजर एंड टाइप ओपन एसएसएल ईएफसी डाउनलोड सो ओवर दिस इन द फर्स्ट लिंक क्लिक ओवर दिस एंड यू कैन सी हियर अकॉर्डिंग टू योर प्लेटफॉर्म राइट नाउ माय सिस्टम इज ऑन 64 बिट सो आई विल डाउनलोड बिन 64 बिकॉज़ दिस इज द इंस्टॉलर एंड फॉलो द डिफॉल्ट स्टेप जस्ट क्लिक नेक्स्ट 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 एंड इंस्टॉल आफ्टर द इंस्टॉलेशन टू चेक so just open the command form and type open ssl version and you will see uh, if you are able to see this open ssl version correctly uh, then uh, open ssl is successfully installed on the system or otherwise if you are unfortunately if you are not able to see that it means the environment variable of this ssl folder uh, to the bin path is not set up correctly so you can do it manually also so just navigate to the install location of your ssl so go to the c drive program folder and search open ssl if somehow if it is not set by your installer click it click on the bin and just copy the path of the bin folder and just add it in your system variable so just type environment variable en vr and we can see added system variable click it now at the bottom you can see this is the environment variable button click on this click on the path in the system variable try to add it this not just go down currently i have already in this path if it is not there click on the new button and paste whatever you have copied from that path i have i already have this so i will not click it okay and this is fine so now jump to the step uh, to perform how we can create our own ssl certificate that will work that allow our system or that allow our web application to run over https protocol so for this first step is to create uh, our private key for our certificate so i have written every step for this here now just copy this command and open the cmd where you want to generate uh, your certificate so i have a folder that i want to create it in my d folder let's say go to this and certificate folder and i want to do it here so in here just open the cmd in this path and paste that command here it is what we are generating we are using rsa encryption algorithm and using 4096 bit for our uh, generation of the key so just press enter it will ask for the password please remember this password this password is used to generate csr of your certificate so click you know, so now enter the password now re enter the password and that's it you can see this now in this folder uh, i have this uh, one file is created with the key so the next step is to generate our csr what is the csr csr is basically the public key uh, that contain the all information of our uh, certificate like here in this command we can see we have a subject uh, uh, and subject has a parameter that take the country state city organization and organization unit and the last one is the domain name this domain name is deprecated now uh, but still you have to provide it to your domain name uh, suppose i have given it www.store.com so i uh, we will create a test.com for uh, like a domain and we will also what we will do we will uh, map that test.com to our angular application on in our local iis so we can or we can also do it later first create this certificate and apply this to the website that we have combined it into our iis copy this and just paste it here here we can say i have written uh, star.test.com star stand for the wild card so we will create a csr this this csr file uh, is asked from your certificate authority like godaddy so uh, in this video we will also create our certificate authority that will validate the certificate authority basically validate your certificate over the browser uh, on the client side i will show you uh, where they have 
so that uh, you don't need to create a certificate authority when you are registering with the this certified domain vendor so just hit enter button and now you have to enter the password that you have uh, already created your private key so this is the private key password that you have created in the step number one so after this when you press enter you can see we have created the csr file this csr file is your main important uh, information contained so after the next step what we can do we have this uh, command that we uh, you can see that i have already created this external file this file contain uh, the extended key user these are the external settings to your ssl certificate whenever you are installing the it is optional not required now here you can see that uh, you have to provide the uh, domain name as well as uh, this ds uh, dns1 is the domain name one I write any number of domain here uh, so that uh, just like uh, you can say this is domain 3 and you can also write it like uh, qa.test.com uh, i already given this wildcard entry so every uh, everything is covered in this so i don't need to write anything in it you can so what i will do just i will un undo this and perform the next step this next step is just create a file with the file name of ext so, right i have created this file this is test.ext that contain the information uh, regarding your subject subject is basically your domain name and they are these are the something that uh, that are the uh, given over the open ssl document so you can copy from there also now perform the step four to perform the step four the here is the things where will come now we have to sign uh, sign your csr to generate the certificate uh, and you can see that now currently we are not going to any vendor that has the certificate authority so we need to create our own certificate authority that will validate that tell the browser that this domain is a valid domain so make it secure one so before to perform step number four I just go to the folder ca we have to create a certificate authority so here is only one command i have given here so copy this command and now generate the certificate authority in this also we have mentioned the domain name state and this is very uh, other thing and now you can see that in uh, in the, in only single command we are generating the key for the certificate authority and the certificate also output is the certificate file and here is the number of page that we want to create this is 3650 which means we are creating for the 10 year and we are uh, this x509 stand for self sign so now press enter it will prompt for the password just uh, it is like that i am the certificate authority i am like the go daddy you are coming to me that you have given your csr file to me and i will sign it because i am the authority who will just will make your certificate valid so what i will create i will create now certificate authority password is now re-enter the password for the ca okay what it say now this is verified now when you go there you can see that ca the this test ca now come back to the step four that we need to sign that certificate by the authority that will make your certificate valid that browser will know that now now it is an authorized certificate so perform the step four copy copy this and I, here i have written this is step four for the test one already here you can see we have given the external file this is optional one not mandatory now in this command what we are doing we are again generating the self sign x509 self sign certificate we are requesting the ca uh, c authority now click on this now enter the password this is the certificate now you can use it but before this we can also want to export it uh, into the window uh, understandable format that is the pfx file uh, that can directly install over the window by using the ui so what we can do we will just convert the generated certificate into the pfx file so just copy the command the last step is to copy the command to generate it 
into the PFX file. Just copy this and paste it. Press enter. Now it will ask your private key that you have uh, generated into the first step that uh, password. Because in this step, what we are doing, we are combining our private key as well as the public key into the one file that is PFX file. It contains both. Now enter the export. Okay, this is done. Verified. Now you can say your certificate is ready. Now uh, stay here. The, what we will do, we will install this certificate on this system and we will try to map our Angular application in the IS and we will want to run it uh, just like I already created one. Wanted to run it here like https dev.store.com. This application I want to run it over the newly created certificate. This is the already created one. So what I will do, I will install this uh, uh, test server certificate. This is like this. Local machine. Next, next, uh, write the password. Don't change anything and just finish. Import was successful. Okay, this uh, now come to the IS server. Uh, what I will uh, do, I will uh, just change it to the qa.test.com. So uh, I need to bind it to the newly created the SSL certificate. So what I will do, I will just click on the binding on the right side. I will edit this and what I will do, I will give the host name of qa.test.com and now there is a test certificate created. Okay, just press OK. Yes. So still it will not work. What you have to do, you have to just make a some small changes in the host file that you have to map this uh, domain name to your IP, right? So what I will do, I will map this uh, newly created domain with our IP. So in on the server, what you will do, whatever your IP, you will just uh, type your domain name and in front of your IP, like 192. Here you can see the example like this. Now press save it. Now here it changes. Now click on this. Now understand the things why we have created our certificate as a secure one, but still the browser is saying that if this certificate is not secure, what is the problem behind it? So come to the settings of the browser. I will tell you uh, the reason behind this: we does not install the certificate authority on this system. This CA, uh, C, we have to install the CA certificate on the client side so that the browser can understand. Uh, that uh, the, this is the certificate authority and it will validate that this is the domain where this will allow us to validate this because if you sign your certificate yeah if you get your SSL certificate from the GoDaddy browser already know so you don't need to install it so you can search certificate here now you can just click on the security tab and now you can see here manage by Chrome, you can see browser already know the certificate. Uh, sorry, uh, CA of the different vendors. Just like you can search GoDaddy, like GoDaddy. You can also see that the browser already know there is a GoDaddy CA certificate is there. That's why when you uh, go to the GoDaddy, yeah, they what they will do? They will ask your CA CSR file. And what they will sign using their certificate authority, a certificate. Just we have created for ourselves. So what we have to do, the final one, just go to the CA section and perform the last step so that the browser knows that the certificate authority, these are the certificate authority who will do something. So click copy this, go to the command line and run your CMD as an admin. CMD as an administrator to perform this. See this? Copy the path of the root. Now press enter. Now you can see here your certificate authority add store command complete successfully. And now when you close your browser, relaunch that URL, now we will not see that uh, that URL is not secure. Let's see, qa.test.com. Now the browser know 
the uh, this time browser knows that this certificate authority is there that's why this time uh, it says that it is a secure one it does not say that it is unsecure uh, and uh, you can see uh, window also knows the various vendor certificate that and that's why they don't have to install their ca on each and every client so let me go to here in the certificate of the window and in the personal trusted root you can see control f and let me search it and you can see here this is the various certificate you can also see godaddy also given this this ca cert authority to already there the certificate authority of the godaddy already present that's why we don't need to provide the certificate authority that we uh, signed with the authorized uh, vendor and our is here we can you can see that if if we delete this certificate authority what it will happen it will again say your site is not secure you can see okay delete this and now again uh, close your browser and just go there and relaunch your application and it will again say uh, it is not secure just refresh this it reading from the previous one now now you can say it is unsecure due to because the certificate authority is not present there this is all guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe this if it is really helpful to all of you guys